Diane James, two and a half minutes. Today, more innocent victims of the human traffickers. But victims, everybody here in the chamber this evening, the few of us that are here, of failed EU policies and the EU's failure to control its borders and therefore directly the responsibility of Frontex. Let's go through some figures, everybody. Let's just expose what we're talking about. An EU budget of 84 million euros, 82,500 kilometres of land and sea borders to patrol, and it works out at 2.8 euros a day per kilometre, and a detection rate of 1 in 10. Look at the US, and I heard the comment about Fortress uh, Europe and such, but just look at the US. Funded to the tune of $13 billion, with less than half the, the kilometres of borders to actually uh, patrol and manage, but it's invested in infrastructure and resources. It's got fences, it's got uh, electronic and satellite surveillance, and it's got 20,000 agents patrolling. It, ladies and gentlemen, that level of investment delivers a detection rate of 61% and starts to deal with the problem. Therefore, that anyone reading those figures, understanding those figures, would recognise that Frontex is a complete and utter irrelevance. But you don't actually need to be an economic migrant to actually want to come here and create a problem. You can be somebody quite legitimately getting hold of genuine papers, but from somebody who's producing and supplying those unlawfully or illegally. So where does that leave us? It leaves us with two very clear problems. EU policy has subverted the ability and the very will of member states to control their borders. And secondly, this state of affairs is a product quite clearly of the failings of the EU policy on freedom of movement and labour and persons. So, ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to leave you with some messages. The traffickers, yes, they can continue to line their pockets with vast amounts of cash. We're going to see more tragedies like we saw today. But Frontex is not fit for purpose, and it never will be. And my message to you all and to the EU is go back to the drawing board on EU policy or go back to the piggy bank and actually resource this properly. Thank you very much.